can do it. Okay. It's me, Riley the Fox. And Eric the Pickle Jar. In the show about things. What kind of things is it about? It's about... What all... kind of things is it about? <laughs> it's about what all kind kinds of things. Of things. Kind of it's things. the show <laughs> about things. Done. Pause it. That's right. It's the show about things. Episode 35. I'm Leroy the Fox. I'm Eric the Pickle Jar. Yes, you are. And the show about things is the show about things that the name might say. So, <laughs> Eric, what kind of things is the show about? Um... You know, you've got to say, like, one thing for this interview. Famine. Famine. Lots of famine on this show. Uh, we're doing it on the internet now. We're also doing it live on the radio. We're also doing it live because we're watching you through your window. We're snatching your people up. Have you seen that? Are you really, You don't really use the internet. We've, we're, like, the only people in the Maldives with the internet. And you kind of go, oh, no, I'm fine with that, thanks. You only use it to upload this. And I don't even know what you're doing with it. I'm worried it'll come up on some dirty side. Like Leroy the Fox. Listen to his voice. Okay. That's enough of that. So we start this every week. Okay. Bum 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 Eric's are on the bus. Do things that Eric's are on the bus. Do This week on the bus. Okay. I was travelling to a shopping place in the Maldives. We've got one little shop. Meadow Hell. Let's call it no, we've got like a gift shop. Yes, I was. But the thing is, once you've bought everything that says Maldives like, on it, like our fridge has nothing but about three magnets, and they're the only magnets you can get. Yeah. You know, there's not much going on in that shop. But... Anyway, I was travelling there. Yeah. I was on the top deck. Again. Again. It was the middle of the day. Okay. And uh, it was me and this girl. I was sat in the middle, and she was sat right at the front. Wait, the middle of like the bus. Vertical or horizontal? Because I'm imagining, like, three seats, and you're kind of crammed in the middle of them. <laughs> no, she sat at the front. There's only Near the driver? Her. Yeah. Right, so there's on only the two. Deck. Well, I'm not surprised. There's no one on the bus. Anyway, so... Yeah. I start... I, I'm just sitting there. Okay, good. And then As I start to hear her singing under her breath. Wonderful. And then I look at her, and she starts singing louder and louder. <laughs> and she starts, like, belting out this show tune, and I'm like... I look at her Which really... show tune? I don't remember. Oh. She's quite good, but I look she's at her. She's quite good. I look at her and I realise she's not got headphones in. She's just singing on the top of the bus and it's just me and her. And I'm like, maybe I should say something. But I thought, no, I'm from England. I'm not going to say anything. Then she starts standing up and singing to the people we pass on the bus. I think in you the may street. be bullshitting me right this now. This happened. I don't think it did. It did. Oh, she starts have... singing to them and I'm like, what's, what's happening? Oh, when we meet and then she other, just sits said. down. She I think you'd have brought down. this up before. It happened today. Today. I don't think this happened. I honestly just don't believe you. You've got this look of bullshit on your face it right now. It happened over a year ago when I was working <laughs> at Metal Hall. Okay. So, you lied to me right now. That hurt. <laughs> no, I didn't. You just did. You, just, it just... you said this week a second ago. Because it's then... supposed to be on the show. Okay. And I, I have to pretend that something interesting happens every single time I'm on the bus, but it happens well, over time. the show support... should not be built on lies. It's built on truths and midgets. Truth and midgets is the way to go with the show. Truth and midgets. Stacked on top of each other. Yeah, like a midget truth sandwich. Okay, that's the end of that segment. And now, here's the free-for-all. Uh, I'm going to bring up a topic, you bring up a topic afterwards. Uh, this is basically a story that's true. Always true. Truth and midgets, as I like to say, that's our new thing, our catchphrase for the day. A man, dressed as a female mannequin, was in a woman's bathroom, taking pictures of women's feet and recording the sounds of them peeing and flushing, and he was caught in a cubicle, dressed as a female mannequin. I'm not sure if he dressed as a female mannequin as a disguise. But, but yeah, but what would a female mannequin be doing in the toilet? Like, oh, uh, I want to see what this would look like on me. I'd better look to see what I'd look like in a it's toilet. It's like, it might have been like extra advertisement, like a swimsuit. No. Okay. A swimsuit in the toilet? That's in case you pro- get wet. Okay. The police report said that he, in, after he was caught... Ow. He just dropped like a safe on my foot. Ow. Okay. 180 LB. The LB stands for Let's Bacon. Okay, and the police report said, before you broke me, that he admitted he'd, quote, done sexual acts and, quote, B, 
being a bit weird. <laughs> and basically... In which order? I think... I don't remember. I, I, all my notes say is... Mannequin guy versus toilet women. Didn't and nobody think that... Did not none of the women touch him? No, or? no, he was in a cubicle. I think it was like a disguise. Why was it... I don't know, maybe... Why he is this... He said he got sexual gratification from everything that went on in a woman's <laughs> toilets. Why didn't, he he dress up like, why didn't he just dress up as a woman instead of a woman mannequin then? I don't know. I think it was more of a case of just hiding his face because he had like a full face thing on. That's just weird. It is weird. And so, do you think there'd ever be a point in your life where you'd have to dress as female... <coughs> Bless you. Oh. That sneeze. So do I think there will ever be a point? No, no, that sneeze has both destroyed my dignity and my trail of the ball. I don't know where I was going with that. I had a vague idea and a, the idea sneezed right out of me. Okay, what, what's your topic? Cougars or jailbait? Wait, the animal cougars? Or no. old, creepy... Okay, is this a question of older women or paedophilia? Jailbaits. I come up with so these... So they're in... almost legal. Almost. What? That's a disgust. But they look legal. That's a horrible question. You take them home and you, you realise that they're not legal. What kind of question is you that? You feel bad the morning afterwards when they've got school and you're like, oh, I have to go to work. You have to go to work, don't you? No, I go to school. <laughs> you sure it wasn't just midgets? <laughs> it could have just been midgets. I pre- I'd prefer the question cougar or midgets. Cougars or jailbait? That's cougars. The- I'm not going to have sex with an underage thing <laughs> underage midget I'm just but not... what, what if she you know, what if she was gorgeous no what if they both look, they both look <laughs> like um who do you like Vanessa Hudgens who's Vanessa Hudgens I don't know she was <laughs> she sounds like a kind of she toffee. was in uh, your favourite Disney film High School Musical she's the girl they both look like her I don't know what she looks like Okay, Hannah Montana. That's doesn't... not the point. I shouldn't be. That's not the point. The point is, I'm not going to have sex with an underage person. End of topic. That's disgusting. It's bad. All you underage bitches, don't call Leroy. He won't no, no. like you. No, I, I won't like it. D- well, it would be nice for a change to get mail letters and just for like Larry for a change. Where is Larry? He's he's here. He- oh my gosh! See, there he is. He's here. He'll <laughs> he'll be on later on the show when it's his set. Oh, it is his section. Okay. 7 minutes 30 seconds is what time we're on, in case you were wondering. Because I know a lot of podcasts don't tell you that. I'm not... Is this a podcast? Is there, yes. Is this on YouTube right now? Are there images? I'm looking around the screen if there are. If this is animated, I'm doing a little dance right now. If not, I just sound like a tit. So what's going on? What are we doing with this upload? Is this going to be still images? Oh. Sounds kind of boring, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. If you want to help out the show and be part of this revolution in the Maldives, feel free to contact us. We could do sock puppets. Oh, that would... No, because that means when we'd have to remember what we said and, um, like, sock puppet to what we said. And I couldn't do that. I'm doing it now, live. Look at my hand. It's going to what I'm saying. But if I was to... And now it's going down his pants. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, that's the end of this topic. Insert jingle for Larry. Yeah. Okay, this next section we hey ask Larry the Dolphin to tell us his top three worst movies ever. Um, I have only seen two movies and I wasn't fond of either of them. Tell us more. I watched The Human Centipede. It was very nice. They're doing a sequel. With 15 Even more. people. What, what's your, what, if you're listening, director, or if you're an actor, get, go away. No one wants you here. I don't like your kind. It's horrible. It's not, that's a bad film. No. Naughty film. What was your other film you saw? I saw Santa Claus with Tim Allen. He's on the drugs. Or has just come off the drugs, depending when you're listening. I don't know that. Maybe I... he, he keeps thinking that he's a toy, when in fact he's a human. Kind hey. of ironically. Hey. What time is it? I don't know. It's tool time! See what I did there? That's a reference to Home Tool time! Oh. 
Home Improvement. I, th- I thought it was Tool Time. I also thought it was Tool Time. No, the show, that was the show within the show. Oh, that was clever of them then. They had a tour show. They should have aired Tool Time also as an actual show. I see the cameras they have in there, they should have used. They did, to oh, film they... the fake bits that went into the show. <laughs> well, they should have filmed them more and done an actual show. That's all we've got time for. Okay, thank you everybody. Be sure to send in your fan mail. But so not about Tinsel. No, seriously, he's getting so annoyed with Tinsel. So, from me, Leroy the Fox. Eddie the Pickle Jar. Larry the Dolphin. Uh, that's all we have time for on the show about things. Join us next week.